today we're going to be trying something a little different. Today I'll be making a chocolate souffle. First you're going to want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now the next thing the recipe calls for is two two cups of souffle dishes or one four cup of souffle dishes. Unfortunately I don't have any of those so I'll be doing four one cup custard dishes because I don't have souffle dishes. So what you're going to do is you're going to butter each one up, sorry, and then you're going to add a little bit of sugar to coat the outside of the souffle dish, just like that. You're going to make sure it's nice and coated on all the edges, including the bottom, and then you're just going to tap out all the extra sugar onto like a plate or back into your sugar dish I guess. So all your souffle dishes should look like this. Once you've got all your souffle dishes buttered and sugared, next you're gonna get out gonna get out three raw eggs, two ounces of bittersweet chocolate melted, a fourth of a teaspoon of cream of tartar, a pinch of salt, and a third of a cup of sugar. The next thing you're gonna do is grab two uh, mixing bowls. One for your egg whites, which will be a smaller one, and one for your egg yolks, which will be this bigger one, because you will be putting the egg whites into the egg yolks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate each of your eggs. Now, I have this handy dandy egg separator here that when I crack my egg, I can just crack it right into the separator and it will literally separate the yolk from the egg for me because it's got these little slots on the side so it will separate the whites and the yolk. Okay, there's your egg yolk, your egg whites sitting pretty in your little bowl. You're just going to separate them for each of your three eggs. Another method you can use, which I don't use very often because I have my egg separator, is the shell method, which is basically you just crack your egg in half, like so, and you basically transfer your yolk from each side and you get the whites off by doing that. It's a little messier, it takes a little bit more experience to do so, but if you can do it, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, just like that. Let me go into a different bowl. Alright, so we're going to start off with our egg yolks that we've separated already, and we're going to mix them with uh, our one third cup of sugar, except we've taken a tablespoon out. So as you can see, it's not quite level because I've already pulled out one tablespoon from it. All right, so we're just gonna take it, we're gonna mix it up in here. That looks good. Now I'm gonna take my beaters, which is just my beater. It's quite loud, so I think I'll cut this part out, but basically you're gonna beat these until they're thick and light. I know it sounds weird, but it'll be thick and light. You'll know it when you see it. And when you pull it up out, the batter or the mixture should fall off your beaters like a ribbon. So I'll get to it. Alright, so it took me a while and a lot of beating, but I finally got it to fall off in a nice slow ribbon. Now it's the last thing you're going to do with your egg yolks. You're just going to take your chocolate. It calls for bittersweet. I'm using semi-sweet because I don't have bittersweet, but I think it'll work because bittersweet is basically just something not as sweet as regular milk chocolate so or dark chocolate. As long as we're using something not so sweet. Wait. Now you're just going to mix it until it's well combined. So you should have chocolatey egg yolks. Now we're just going to take that and we're going to set it aside 
here along with our souffle dishes and we're gonna move on to our egg yolks or egg whites sorry after vigorously beating your egg yolks with um, that sugar you will have cleaned your beaters so we don't want those egg yolks in this white yet and we're just gonna put them back in our beaters and we're gonna mix this with our cream of tartar, which will just come in a little thing like this. And then we're just gonna put one fourth of a teaspoon, like I said earlier, in the whites, along with just a pinch of salt. So I'm literally just gonna pinch the salt here and put it in there. All right, and now, you're gonna beat these until they hold soft peaks. You'll see what I mean in a minute here. All right, so I've finished beating them. As you can see, they've stopped being clear and they're now a foamy kind of white color. And to tell if they've got soft peaks, like I said earlier, you're gonna take your beaters and just kind of put them there. Then you're gonna pull them straight up. And if they hold those, then they're done. Now, I'm gonna have to keep beating but what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue to beat after they've held their soft peaks and you're gonna stir in that uh, one tablespoon of sugar we had earlier. So we're just gonna keep beating. going to keep beating your egg, your egg whites until they become stiff and glossy. So now you can see they hold their peaks just a little bit more. They're not as liquidy as before and you can see there's just a little bit of a gloss on the edge around here. So now comes the very last step, the very last before baking. The last thing we're going to do is going to just take these two things and we're going to put them together. So you're going to take a nice good fairly large spoonful of those egg whites and you're just gonna put them in here and you're gonna stir it up just to lighten the egg yolks a little bit because they've gotten quite stiff in our absence to tend to them. And there we go, now they're nice and light there. Fantastic. I'm gonna use regular spatula in the kitchen with baking. It is your best friend. All right, I'm just gonna get all that off there. All right. Now we're gonna take the rest of these, and we're not gonna stir it. We're gonna instead fold the egg yolks into, or sorry, the egg whites into the egg yolks. I'm just gonna get all this out of here. Okay. Now to fold, you're going to take the bottom, the egg yolks, and you're just going to fold basically on top. This is to make sure you don't lose any of that airiness that you've worked so hard to get into those egg whites. Now this is kind of a very delicate process. I say kind of, it really is a delicate process. And you're going to want to make sure they're nice and combined without losing any of that volume that you've just gained by beating the crap out of your egg weights. Alright, so you've got your egg yolks, or your eggs are finally back together with your chocolate and your sugar and your cream of tartar, and they're all together in your bowl. And now, we're going to put them into your souffle slash custard dish that's good, got its sugar on a side. Now the reason we put the sugar in here is to help the sides of the souffle uh, crisp, become crisp and a little more brown. So we're just gonna take the, the uh, this here, and we're gonna just put it in the souffle dish, like so probably don't want to put too much in there because not only do you have to fill these others but it will rise a little bit it's probably just about that much and then you're gonna bake them now you're gonna bake them 
put your souffle dishes in the oven at 350 degrees and set your timer for 20 minutes or until your until your center is just about done. So after 20 minutes, your souffle should just about be done. My oven is hissing. And there we have it. Souffle. Now souffles are something that you have to serve immediately or else they'll start to deflate, like you've seen here. Now, because I've made four, I can't really eat them all by myself. Who wants souffle? Me!